G'day friends, welcome to the Collage Clusters tutorial. Uh, first off, you can see I've got here, I've got background pieces. So basically all the stuff that I'm interested in using in the, the very, very back of my little collage cluster. I've got mid-ground pieces. These are things that I don't really want to recede too far into the background, but I'm okay with having them behind stuff. Uh, they don't need to be fully exposed. And uh, the focal points, these are the things that I really want to draw attention to in my collage, whether it's a cluster or a full page collage. These are the bits that I want to work with as my, you know, my, my focal points. And uh, I've got the bits, and the bits are just decoration. They can be as small or as big as you want, they can be whatever you want. Uh, obviously any of this can be whatever you want, but these are just my decorative elements for my collages. And I've got wine. I just, uh, it was late at night and I needed a bit of grape juice to keep me going. So, <laughs> are we all having wine? <laughs> Here we go. I've done one example already. Do not worry if any of this is going too fast. Uh, there is a YouTube feature. You can turn the sound off and actually play this stuff slower if you want. Uh, if you play it slower with my voice, I'll kind of sound like a demon. So, uh, you know, I would turn the sound off. But if that's something you're into and you're, you know, ready for Halloween already, go for it. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, it freaks me out. So, um, I'm starting with the background pieces. Now, the background pieces don't have to be uh, anything in particular. They don't even have to be full blocks of paper. They just want to be whatever you're okay with receding into the background. They don't want to be uh, anything too busy, I've found. Anything too busy kind of takes away from what you're doing, unless your foreground images are going to be very, very simple. You want to kind of play with the balance of, of, um, of you know what I mean? Like, lots going on and not a lot going on. Does that make sense? You want to make sure that your focal points stay your focal points. I haven't done a really good job explaining it uh, in this first example because I got so carried away in my first example that I ended up not even doing a collage cluster. I just did like a one and a half page full of collage bits. So let me explain it better here. This is something I'm okay with being in the background. So a lot of it can be covered. I'm not, I'm not, I don't mind that. This is a mid-ground piece. So I actually want to keep a lot of that on the page, I don't want, I want it to be a little bit more uh, pulled out and focused than the background piece. And this is my focal point, that, that cute little um, dry brush ink drawing. And these are the bits. The bits are just the piece that I want to decorate with. And they can be, I've even used washi tape. I've included that as like my bits because they, um, you know, I don't really have like large scale washi tape. So I feel like they're all kind of just like a little decorative bit on top. Um, and that's where you just kind of go nuts and, and add on all your decoration at the end. I like keeping these very, uh, very, what am I trying to say? Uh, like not planned out, very intuitive. I like just putting the stuff down. Uh, I find, and you'll see me here, I'm like reorganizing stuff and you know, I don't know what I want to choose and when, if I'm, if I'm spending too long on it, I need to let it go and just pick something out. Like just do a lucky dip, close my eyes and pick something out. But if I've got a few things that I notice in front of me, like I keep this stuff spread out when I'm working in this way because I can just pull things out. Like if I'm working on this page, which is kind of neutral and earth tones, I thought, oh, there's a, you know, there's a little paint chip card over here. I've got some brown washi tape over here. I want to, you know, I want to pull that kind of a color story together. Here is a very, very simple version. The background I've actually used is kind of, you would say a decorative, you know, flower bit. And, um, and the mid-ground is just that black circle I've punched out and the decorative bits, the focus point is that little ink drawing and that I used one decorative bit, which was that envelope that I had stamped out from the Muji store in Japan. Uh, you can go check out that Japan video, it's so much fun. And uh, one of these little gummed labels that uh, the gum doesn't really work anymore, so I just, um, I just tape runnered that on. That's a Tombow adhesive tape runner, love it. I was using the sticky thumb, but I found the replacements for the sticky thumb just fell apart. So I liked the sticky thumb adhesive at first, and then I've now switched to the Tombow mono adhesive, I believe it's called, the tape runner. Now this is a great example of just a little cluster of collage. You've got the background, that torn blue paper, the mid-ground is that floral Tim Holtz paper, the focal point I wanted to pull out was that punch of uh, a photo of my sister, and then I wanted to put my decorative bits like that old stamp and that little sticker. I just wanted to put that all in like a neat little cluster circle. And I just love it. I love the way it looks. And I loved it so much, I kind of reinterpreted the blue and white theme over on the right hand page for like, you know, the header for whenever I come back and journal on these pages. 
Uh, I just wanted to show you as well, use your scraps. That's that I punched out a black circle from that cardstock. I didn't want to throw it away. And it actually framed that little man in the gondola so well. So uh, my background piece in this in this spread, I guess, is my illustration. Um, because it takes up a lot of the space and I'm not I'm okay with a lot of it receding into the background that doesn't worry me but I use that little um, off cut to pull out the focus that I wanted in that so as with everything I mean learn the rules and then totally throw them out the window and break them I've just kind of divided them up into like background mid ground focal point and bits just for you to kind of get the understanding that um, be okay with your background stuff receding into the background don't try and hold on hold on to a lot of it because you're gonna second guess yourself when you're layering on top and um, you know pick out things that are contrasting in, in 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 the way that they're put together you know what I mean you can choose a color story but pick very detailed things pick very simple things and put those together you can see here I picked out a lot of detailed stuff and this is actually not falling on my eyes very well I may go in later and try and layer some stuff over the top to kind of neutralize it, maybe uh, like a post-it note over some of it. Uh, but yeah, so there's always a way to save it, but at the end of the day, I was purely doing this because I want to get into journaling my feelings and thoughts, even though I don't have a lot of thoughts. Um, <laughs> see look, I'm, I'm way, I'm on the struggle bus right here could not pick which one I wanted to pull out. Um, but uh, I just wanted to get back into journaling. I wanted to, you know, write a lot of stuff down, but I hate the blank white page. I just, it, nothing makes me want to write less than a blank white page. So I thought if I just put all these collage clusters in, I, it would make me feel like I was working on a page that I'd already been working on. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna annoy me. So I, um, yeah, I think that was the reason that I went through and did half this book. <laughs> I did a lot more that I didn't actually film. I'm coming up to the end of this anyway, so I'm going to go through and, uh, and just show you all the examples that I made. They're just, you know, clusters of collage through, through my book. And, you know, they're really not thought out or planned or anything. This is, I used some Tim Holtz Distress Crayons in that one. I love that one. Very, very simple and soft. This one's a little heavy, a little busy for me, but still fine. Uh, I love this one because I love Japan, obviously. Um, this one I found was a really great neutral color story so that the focal point really popped. Uh, this one is just very bold, love it, very simple, clean. This is probably been my favorite. I love the little circle cluster of collage. This one's way too busy, but at the same time Steve loved it because it's all about Italy. Uh, this one is too busy for my liking, but I will go back in and save that or maybe I won't. <laughs> uh, I like this one, a little odd, a little weird. This one's really fun too. It's uh, my ticket for a Mickey's Halloween party I went to last year. Some more neutral clusters, I think these are really beautiful, just to start a page. Uh, using my collage sheets from my Etsy to mix and match heads and bodies, that's really fun. Mermaids swimming out of an envelope in the spine of the book, I just thought that was fun. Black and white, obviously a great colour palette to choose if you're struggling to pull things together. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Go out and uh, Cluster yourself some collage. It's a great way to use up all your bits. Let's be honest, that's what I was trying to do here. I was trying to get rid of everything. And uh, I think I put a good dent in it. So until next time, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.